Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another video of the Everlasting RC Hovercar Project. So, this is where we're at. As you can see, we've got another hoverboard connected up to the controls for this. Um, problem is, I'm having loads and loads of trouble with the motors that I've got at the moment. Uh, it was typical that I tested out the first motor, which was here, and that wasn't working properly. Um, I thought probably something to do with the electrics because all the motors are probably fine. Uh, yeah, so in the end I ended up swapping it around with this one. It turns out this one's okay. This one's okay. This one's bad. 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 And this one's bad. So it looks like I've got seven faulty motors, which seems a bit unbelievable. I've, I'm pretty sure it's not the speed controller because I've checked. Um, I've checked the faulty motor on a good speed controller, and that was the same as what it was for the other controller. I haven't checked the good motor on the bad controller, um, just in case it is the controller and it's breaking the motor. But yeah. Um, I tested it with this one, these off-road wheels, and they seem to be turning sort of okay, but it's having a bit of trouble uh, reading the whole sensor values. So I'm not sure if that's because the battery is a little bit flat or not, but anyway, I've got that on charge now. Um, yeah, so we've got major problems at the moment. Uh, yeah, so along with all this motor problem, we had problems with the Arduinos, uh, there wasn't networking properly. Like I said, I'd have two of them connected well, three of them connected. Two of them might start playing up or one of them just wouldn't work altogether. So we've gone back to just using one at the moment and we're probably gonna be using just this Arduino Uno you know, for the controls and then we'll have the Arduino Mega for like the steering and the throttle and stuff. So the next step from here is if I can get these big wheels working, I'll put the big wheels on the back and then we'll have two normal wheels on the front. Uh, if they don't work, if I can't get them to work, then I'm probably just gonna have, I'm just gonna have to settle for two wheel drive, I think. Um, I've already put a lot of money into this project and I don't particularly wanna, well, I mean, the reason for making this was because I had a load of hoverboard wheels. And if it's got to the point and I've got to buy more hoverboard wheels for it. This kind of cancels out the whole purpose in using parts that I've already got. Um, you know, I've started looking at electric skateboard motors, but it's, I think that's just going to have to be a completely different project. So either this one, it's either get more hoverboard motors, get these to work, or buy another hoverboard, or figure out what's going wrong with all these other ones. I mean, as far as I know, everything's okay and all the same, but you know, I've had, I've had fuses blown up. Um, I haven't had any smoke or anything yet. I mean, I know these are only five amp fuses, but still, something's not right. Like when the speed controls are cutting out and uh, switching off and the software that I'm using to run the live views crashing, you know, something is, something is not right. So anyway, I'll update when I figure out what's going on and what the next step in the plan is.
Okay, so this is where we're at with the hover exploration car. Um, as you can see, the wheel hubs have been removed. Uh, basically what was happening, these smooth shafts, they were sliding out. Obviously it's, it's gonna do that, but I thought because they were tight, it might be okay. So we're gonna be re replacing all them shafts with bolts. So we've got shafts that go through here, like this one here. And then we've got this one down here. So those bolts are in order, they should be here within the next couple of days. Printed out this new part here, that's going to be replacing this green one here. So it's a lot stronger, the holes are more in line, and then it's also got these nice, these nice um, decorative spikes. So yeah, it's starting to get a bit more yellow, which is okay. I mean, yellow is kind of cool. Um, right, so that's it. So this project, it's going to be, it's not going on hold, but it's because it's taken so long, you know, I've been working on this project for like probably about nine months so far. So I'm just going to take this time now just to announce a couple of new projects that are going to be happening soon. So if we just go over to here, right, so you can see we've got hoverboard stripped down and we've got the hoverboard motherboard here. Um, I'm quite pleased to say that I finally figured out how to hack these. So there's going to be a new video um, on how to hack your hoverboard motherboard. This is so that you don't have to buy separate speed controllers and you can control both your motors directly using the existing hoverboard motherboard, which could save a lot of money. You know, like the ones I've got on the other one over there, you know, you're talking 40, 50 quid each for these ESCs. Whereas this, you can pick these up brand new off eBay for 16 quid, reprogram it, chuck it in your hoverboard, or you could use the existing one that comes with the hoverboard. So that's number one. Number two, this is a 10 pound radio control car. I got from Home Bargains and I'm slowly working on a video which involves improving it so we're replacing the servo we're going to replace the steering rack so it's got more accurate steering and we're also going to beef up the motor so it can drift and this is going to be a little drift car right so we got project one motherboard project two this and project three I'll whack a picture up now so you can see I've done the prototype so far and that was reasonably successful. Um, basically what it is, it's a, it's a reprogrammed hoverboard motherboard with different firmware. So I can control it with potentiometers um, that are connected up to a steering wheel. And that's gonna be for, it's gonna be some kind of like drift trike or a hoverboard bike or something like that. I haven't quite decided completely, but there's going to be a build video for that, and I'm going to try and have the whole build in one video as well. So it's not all split up in little parts. Okay, so just run over it again. Right, so this one is going to be ongoing. There's going to be more videos coming out as this progresses. And then there's going to be project videos. So there'll be that how to flash your motherboard and upload new firmware. And that's going to be turning a cheap £10 RC car into something fun. And then there'll be the hoverboard trike. Okay, so if you want to see them videos, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video because it's really, really good. And I'll see you on the next one.